thanks for everybody being available. Um, thank you to Salvi, um, most importantly. Um, it's, um, it's not often that you get a chance to, um, to have press conferences like this, uh, where you get a chance to reward and celebrate uh, a player uh, like Salvador Perez, who he is as a person, what he means uh, to this game of baseball, what he means to the organization, our fans. Uh, it's, a, it's a special day uh, to be able to celebrate that. And um, um, can't thank you enough. I'm thankful to your mother, your grandmother, uh, everybody who's raised you in this game, this organization, all the people that uh, have spoke so highly of you. And uh, we all know why. We all know why everybody's believed in you all these years, because you've earned it. And uh, people love being around you. They pull for you, and uh, it's it's special that we get a chance to keep you here. Uh, I want to thank John Sherman. I want to thank the ownership group. Um, I want to thank uh, Jen Wong, Scott Sharp, um, our entire front office for for working hard. I want to take thank uh, Caesar for his uh, involvement as well. I want to thank uh, all of our coaches and uh, everybody involved. So, anyway. Way to go. Thank you, Lee. Okay. I'm saying thank you. Sabi, you want to say something before we take questions? Uh, first, you know, I want to thank the Kansas City organization uh, for signing me, you know, for sending Orlando Steven to Venezuela when I was 16 years old and see me, you know, and, and sign me as a catcher. Yeah, I don't think I was going to play, you know, behind the home player with third base in shortstop. So, I think Orlando Stevens told me some good things, you know, he wanna see me from behind the home play and I did it. So thank you, Dave, thank you. Uh, I wanna thank God for giving my mom the mom that I have, you know, for my grandma. Uh, it's hard, it's hard to believe where I'm coming from, when I grow up to now to see me, the situation that I am right now, it's, it made me feel super happy. I know my mom doing pretty good job. And I know my grandma is gonna be happy. Sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, I know she's here right now and I'm excited. I'm excited to, to stay here for four more years, maybe five. We go see. And uh, thank you for Bolivia on me day. You know, thank you, Mr. Sherman. And I'm gonna be ready. You know, and I'm super excited. All right, uh, we've asked everybody just uh, hit your hand raise on your computer. Uh, we'll take Lynn Worthy first, thanks. Thanks, Wani. Uh, first, uh, if I could, one each, uh, one to ask Dayton. Um, I know you've talked about this a little bit before, but uh, when you look at Salvi's body of work and just sort of projecting forward, what, what is it that gives you the most confidence about the longevity that he, um, you guys hope he will have and signing this extension that could go up to five more years. Yeah, thanks, Lynn. No, first of all, I mean, the, the catching position is without a doubt the most demanding position in our game. And uh, but it's it's hard and all, I think almost impossible to win championships unless you have somebody behind the plate, uh, someone at the catcher position who uh, is a leader, somebody who brings out the confidence in your pitching staff. Uh, and Salvi does all of that. He's an extremely hard worker. Uh, watching him go about what he does, not only in the off season, but during the season, uh, it's, it's second to none. And to watch him interact each and every day out here in the drill work, I mean, he goes about it like it's his first day on the job. His enthusiasm uh, and his energy uh, and his love for this game hasn't wavered one bit. And the natural question that everybody should ask and the question that, that I ask myself and others is, as this player, Salvador Perez, uh, as he continues to play this game, um, is he still going to go about it the way he did when he was a little boy? And those questions have been answered 
not only by everybody in this organization to a man, but the way he goes out and demonstrates it every single day. Nobody loves to play baseball more than Salvador Perez. There's players that like to play it as much, but nobody loves to play it more than Salvador Perez. And so he just gives us such great confidence in, in who he is, his work ethic, his ability. Um, I mean, it, it speaks for itself. This guy's a six-time All-Star, five-time Gold Glove, Silver Slugger Award, I believe three times, Comeback Player of the Year. I, I just goes on and on. And there's more, uh, there's, there's more upside in Salvador. There's, we believe in him as much as any player we've been a part of. Len, your question for Sal? Yeah, and Sal, we, uh, first, congratulations. Um, and then the question I wanted to ask, uh, we talked to you before camp started about uh, the contract, and you mentioned wanting to be there for, you know, the rest of your career. And I remember you at the time had a picture, uh, you had Gordo's jersey frame that you showed us. Um, what does it mean to you to get this deal done? And also, uh, is there any importance to, uh, to you as far as having the biggest contract that the Royals have ever signed? It's the first, uh, first thing I want to say about, you know, Alex, one of the best teammates I played with, you know, with him for a lot of years, you know, and have the opportunity to be like him and stay in the organization for a long time. It's a, it's a real opportunity for me, you know, and what I say about the other question is, you know, uh, I'm 10 days, the believe in myself and, and what I do in the field and in all the fine Kansas City, you know, and, you know, play, play hard the next couple of years that we are going to be in here. And, and hopefully we can make it to a playoff again. Okay. Um, Sam, you're up. Uh, Carlos, I see you on there. If you give us a few minutes, that way you can talk to him in Spanish and he can answer you in Spanish, okay? Just give us a couple minutes. Sam? Yeah, um, hey guys. Um, got a question for, for each of you, um, if I can. Sal, I'll go with, with you first. Um, you've never been a free agent, right? Um, was that tempting at all to just, you know, take this and see what that's like, that experience? I know a lot of guys look forward to that. No, I want to stay here. Yeah, I want to stay here and talk today. Are they? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's not going to fill up your notebook, Sam. <laughs> <That's great. laughs> Oh, yeah, for Sometimes the short ones will work too. Yeah. Um, and uh, for, for Dayton, um, can you talk, I, I guess this is a two-part question for you, but like just strictly baseball, how do you guys project, you know, a catcher, like you said, it's a demanding position. How do you project, you know, Sal holding up um, through this? And I'm also curious what the conversation was like with, with your boss of, you yeah. know, I mean, <laughs> these are big checks to write. Yeah. What, what was that process like? Well, I, I, John is, has been extremely supportive and he's a great admirer of Salvi. Um, you know, I, not, to, not to share a whole lot of the details, but, um, you know, in early January of this year, uh, John and myself and Renee and Mike and Pedro and Salvi, we all got together. We all got together in, in, uh, in Florida. Uh, we spent an evening together. Um, it was important for us all to come together and talk about this potentiality, uh, hopefully getting to this point in time uh, in the process, because John's a big believer in Salvador Perez. And of course, he's watched him grow up in the major leagues as a, as a fan, uh, as somebody who studies baseball a great deal. And, um, but Sam, as, as far as the projection in the health of the player, I mean, it's the same with everybody. I mean, you, you trust your medical people. Uh, Nick Kinney, Doc Key, um, our strength conditioning uh, people, Ryan Stoneberg, um, our performance science, Austin Driggers and, and John Weigel. And we all come together and we talk about uh, individual players. And so of course we talked about Salvi, but at the end of the day, um, obviously they all signed off on that because they believe in his work ethic. Uh, they believe in the condition of his body. They believe in uh, his heart and his mind 
uh, to play. Uh, I mean, he, he puts himself in a position uh, to go out there every single day. And um, he's, I mean, Salvador Perez, those of you that know him, he's an extremely physical human being and he's really, really smart. Uh, and he knows how to condition his body, knows how to play, knows how to prepare. And, and uh, we all trust each other to do the right things collectively. So Salvi, this is not Salvi's last contract either. I believe that he's going to continue to play. This guy's going to play for a long time. Tammy? Yeah, hey, guys. Um, Dayton, you, you talk a lot about wanting to keep the player, your players as, as long as you possibly can. When did you know that Salvador Perez is going to be that kind of player for you? Well, they're our players. Um, they're our players. Um, we all believe in Salvador Perez. Um, and... Um, um, you know, we, we've known Annie for a long time that it's important to uh, have Salvi here uh, as, as long as we possibly can. Uh, number one, because we love watching him play and he's really talented and the position he plays is, is, is one of the hardest positions uh, uh, to, to fill in your roster. You're talking about a perennial all-star, a World Series MVP, a World Series champion, who knows what it's about, knows what it looks like. We have young pitching coming on the horizon. We all know, we talk about that every single day. And to, to have Salvador Perez as the anchor uh, behind the plate leading the development and the success of these future pitchers is so important. And you know, when I ask Mike Matheny and Pedro Grafal and, and, and all of our people constantly, um, the importance of having Salvador Perez here long-term. I mean, nobody can imagine him not being here. And Chino Carajia, I've been talking to Chino about this for two years, about what are we gonna do? Uh, and what do we need to do um, with, with Salvi? And uh, so everybody is delighted, Annie, as an organization uh, that Salvi is, um, is going to be here for you know, the, the future. Alec and then Carlos, Alec. I have one for both of you. Um, Dayton, what, what did you think when, when Salvi did what he did last year coming off Tommy John surgery? Like, what did you think watching that? Well, we were just really very joyful as an organization to see him back on the field. Uh, just like our fans, just like you, Alec, just like everybody on this call, because we know how much this game means to Salvador and we know how important, uh, how much our game needs players like Salvador Perez out there every single day. And, uh, and, and, but Salvi, like I said, Salvi's so talented, nothing surprises us what, what he can do. He's gotten some of the biggest hits in the history of the organization. Like I said, he's a World Series MVP and you know, all the things that he's accomplished speaks for itself. And, but there's, there's a lot more in Salvador Perez. I mean, he's, he's, a much, he's a much more disciplined player today, believe it or not. Um, and he's still the most, I mean, you look at him in the spring training game, backdoor picking guys. I mean, it, I mean, it's a joy to watch him play, but he's, he's getting, he's even getting smarter, which he should. I mean, he's getting more, even more and more experience every single game. He learns from every game. He studies, he loves all aspects of the game. Um, it's a, it's a joy having, um, you know, to, to have a player like Salvi in our organization. And then Salvi, first, congrats. Um, Thank you. You mentioned signing as a third baseman. As you think about that time to, to where you, you're sitting there right now and, and all that has happened, I mean, how, um, how, how much fun has this, this been, the, the career? I mean, just the, the ride that's been, how, how much fun has it been for you? I was third base because I have great hand, man. Okay, I have good hand. <laughs> Now what I think that I can play third base, but now, like I said, Orlando Steven see me from third base and he asked me to throw the ball from behind the home play. And he wanted me to work for one year behind the home play and I did it. And when he come back, he signed me. So I'm, I'm so happy right now, you know? And I want to say another thing. I want to thank the coach in here because I know how hard they work. Uh, Skip, Pedro, Rusty. You know, Terry Bracha, all the guy, maybe uh, Mike Tosa, 
we, we I, I hear we hang a line there in the off season, you know, so I appreciate all this guy, you know, and, and something that I want to say in here and, and it's to thank Pedro. I want to thank God for sending me Pedro to be around me. Uh, I don't grow up with my dad, and you guys know that. But I feel that like, like God sent me hand, you know, to to help me and raise me and teach me about life and inside on the field. So yeah, I feel so happy and and excited, you know, that we're gonna stay here for long for long term, for four five more years, and, and hopefully I can end my career in here, you know. Uh, I love I love the people in here. I love the fans, you know, and I'm excited. I can't wait to to the season start and, and see what happens, guys. Okay, uh, Carlos, before you ask your question, real quick, Pedro Gafal is in here to make sure Salvi understands everything. So once you've asked and Salvi has answered, uh, I'd like Pedro just to let everybody know what was said so we understand. So go ahead, Carlos. Hello. Carlos, you're muted. Hello. You, yeah, you, yeah. How does it? There you go. There you go. Uh, first of all, I think, uh, congratulations to Salvi and to Mr. Dayton. Uh, Salvador, eh, primero que todo, quiero felicitarte. Como venezolano, me siento muy complacido de que puedas seguir tu carrera en Kansas City. Quisiera que me pudieras eh, eh, explicar qué sientes tú al firmar un contrato de esta naturaleza con Kansas City. ¿Qué significa esto para ti si te ves retirándote en Kansas City? Eh, sí, ¿Crees que esto es un una, una, una reconocimiento sobre tu carrera? Agradecido, como lo dije temprano, agradezco a Dios. Y, y de verdad por el trabajo que he hecho, por la persona que me ha puesto alrededor mío, eh, enfocado. Eh, para mí es muy, es muy importante quedarme aquí. Eh, fue la organización que me dio la oportunidad de jugar en béisbol profesional. Fue la organización que confió en mí y todo el trabajo que yo he puesto. Y, y todas las personas que me han ayudado. Para mí es, es muy importante, estoy súper contento. Este, y esto es lo que yo quería para mi carrera. Esto era por lo que yo he trabajado, esto es por lo que yo he luchado a diario. Y, y quedarme aquí en Kansas City por cuatro o cinco años más, para mí eso es muy importante. Okay. Uh, Pedro is going to paraphrase the question and the answer for our uh, Kansas City reporters. Go ahead. Uh, in short, uh, the question was, what does this mean? What does it represent to you and your family to be able to um, execute this contract and stay here in Kansas City uh, for... Uh, the near future. Um, Salvi's answer was, uh, this means everything to me. Um, this represents myself, my family, the organization, the work that I've put in uh, throughout the years and knowing where I've come from uh, and where I am right now, uh, it means the world to me. Carlos, one more, please. Sí, otra pregunta que te quería hacer. ¿Cuáles son tus metas individuales y como equipo que tú te tienes trazado de aquí al resto de tu carrera? Mira, sinceramente, o sea, como equipo y a los playoffs, ganar una serie mundial, yo creo que eso es lo más importante. Eso es lo más importante. Individual, cualquiera se quiere ganar un guante de oro, un bate de plata y el juego de las estrellas. Pero si a mí me dicen que si en verdad tiraría eso a un lado para ir con mi equipo a una serie mundial o unos playoffs, yo quitaría esas tres cosas y me fuera con mi equipo a los playoffs. The question is: what are your, what are your goals, uh, personal goals and uh, team goals? And obviously the team goals are to get back to a World Series and win a championship. My personal goals is to win a gold glove, um, another silver slugger, but I would push all that to the side to uh, just help this team get back to the World Series and, and raise that trophy. Great, Carl, Carlos, thank you for the questions. Pedro, thank you for the help, appreciate it. Uh, two more, Josh, Bernier, and then Lynn. Yeah, um, Salvi, congratulations. Uh, Dayton, as a general manager, signing a guy like Salvi for what he does on the field is obvious, but when you when you can lock up a guy for four years like him, it, it seems as if there's an automatic standard that's now held inside that clubhouse because of how he works and his history. I was wondering the ease that allows someone like you. Yeah, I think, Josh, you know, when I think about um, you know, this, this extension was Salvi. Of course, it, it means a great deal to our team. It's going to help us win a lot more baseball games. Um, but it, it also is a reminder to all of us how important this is for our fans as well. And, uh, you know, in an era where it's very difficult 
at times for markets like ours uh, to sign uh, some of their most popular players, their most successful, their most talented, and their most productive players with great history like Salvador to long-term contracts. And so uh, that's what we're most thrilled about uh, as an organization. And of course, we're happy for Salvi, his family, uh, for uh, the financial aspects of this. Uh, but at the same time, uh, it, it's it's there's a lot of different emotions and feelings uh, with a, with a signing of, of this caliber, and uh, oftentimes we don't get the opportunity uh, to sit here and announce a signing of a player like Salvador because of the economics of the game, and um, I think it needs to be said. Salvi worked with us on this. I mean, we talk about um, I think. Uh, Sam asked the question about, did he think about free agency? Um, well, he's earned the right to potentially become a free agent. He's earned that right. Um, and um, um, who knows how that would have unfolded. But I think it's safe to say when Salvador Perez becomes a free agent, maybe it's a little more challenging for us uh, to have him here in Kansas City. And, you know, we were very candid about this. Uh, Salvi and I spoke one-on-one -on -one last year before the season ended about the importance of this to him. And I told him at the time, I'm not going to push this unless this is something you want. Um, we want you here, but, you know, you, you're a man now. And, um, um, and Salvi wants to, wanted to be here in Kansas City. This was important for him because of our fans, because of the history here, uh, because of his love and, and his passion for the Royals. And so, uh, but it's a, it's a big deal in a, in a lot of ways, Josh. When you start it, you can finish it. <laughs> <laughs> Salvi, uh, I just wanted to ask because you heard uh, Dayton say that he doesn't think this is the last uh, deal for you. Um, do you have in your mind how much longer you think you might play is going for, you know, another eight, nine years like Yadi, something that you thought about or you think you could do? I don't have, I don't, I don't want to re retire never from baseball, you know, <laughs> so I know it's going to happen, but I don't, I don't even think about that. I'll be going to play to, I tell day the other day when God, God's going to come down and tell me, Sabi, go home, <laughs> you know, so uh, I love baseball. You guys know how much I love to be in the field to be in the clubhouse, you know, uh, to help my team. And, and yeah, and, and I believe in myself, it's not gonna be the last one. So I have a few more. All right, Dayton, Salvi, thank you very much. Salvi. Thank you. Congratulations, Pedro, thank you for your yeah, Thank help. you, thank you. Uh, Mike thank McGee, you, we'll talk about thank Salvi. Thank you, after the thank game you, today, thank after you. we talk about the ball game itself, Mike will also address any questions you have about Salvi. Thanks, guys.